What's up YouTube, Ben Price here with Vamanos Vans. It is another late night. It's sometime after midnight. I don't even know at this point, I haven't looked at the clock in a little bit. You know me, been grinding away. Uh, tonight is finally uh, the finish of our next custom build and possibly one of our last custom builds. More on that later. And I wanna show it to you guys. I've been working tirelessly to get this thing done. It is crazy. It is the most custom thing that we've ever done. It's the most feature packed. It's awesome. It's late. Let's get into the tour. So this is the build. It doesn't have a name yet. I'm sure it will at some point. Every build that we've done so far has gotten a name at some point. Um, but as of right now, it is, and don't quote me on this, I may be wrong on some of these specs, a 2019 Ford Transit Extended 350. There might be some other things. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Like I said, it is also really late, so I'm gonna kind of rush through this thing. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Uh, if you guys do have any questions, again, leave those down in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. So with no further delay, the build. Here it is. Enjoy it, appreciate it. I hope you guys like it. I'll catch you in the next video, peace. No, just kidding, not that quick, but it will be quick. So I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of van builds by this point, so I'm not gonna go into some crazy details. I'm just gonna point out what things are, where they are, if they do anything, I'll show you that. But for the most part, you guys are going to understand what's going on here. Um, so right in the beginning, we have half of our kitchen. We've got some cabinets up top. We've got a three burner propane stove down below. A ton of cabinetry around it, um, including a kick out drawer. So you just kick your little feeties under there and out pops the drawer. Cool little feature up top is we've got a flip down cabinet that you could use for spices or cooking utensils of some sort if you would like the uh, the client spec that one out. Um, so we figured out a way to get it in. Next we've got a couple controls. Uh, we've got some little, uh, light switches here. Uh, these two are for our accent lights under cabinets and toe kick. Um, they're also on dimmers. So as we spin these dials, we actually can dim those, get a nice ambiance, get the mood lighting going. You know how that is. Uh, moving on, we've got more light controls over here. These ones are for the main lights up top also on dimmers really dial that mood in you know um oh yeah not to forget uh we do have a rocker switch here for the bathroom light and the fan we'll get to that later continuing on with the kitchen uh we've got a farmhouse sink spec and supplied to us by the customer uh Pretty classic, you've seen these in almost every van build at this point. Uh, lots and lots of storage underneath, including a five stage water filter so everything you drink is nice and safe. That all drains down to a 20 gallon gray water tank under the van. We also have a nice flip up counter here that locks itself into place. Uh, we do have a full 3.2 cubic foot mini fridge uh, with a full freezer that you can actually fit ice cream and lots of lots and lots of ice cream. That is actually 120 volt or 110 uh, running off of the inverter. Let's see, what else can I show you guys over here? Oh yeah, I guess we'll get into the bathroom. Oh wait, before we do that, uh, it was right above my head. Of course, the Max Air fan deluxe the one that can run while it's uh you're driving and it's raining with no worries about getting anything wet inside 
Moving on to the shower, uh, we've got a stone stream unit here. So there's uh, mineral filters um, and an option to put in a lemon filter. Ooh, very spa-like, very zesty, if you know what I mean. Um, we've got a real stone laminate on the shower. It is real stone. I know a lot of people are going to question me on this and they're going to get mad in the comments about the weight. And I'm going to tell you right now, this stuff could not be any lighter. <laughs> the, panels, the panels are something like a sixteenth of an inch. It is real stone, but it's got texture to it and it's backed with fiberglass. So you can actually roll these tight into a roll. Uh, and all of this tile here, sorry, not tile, all of this stone here together maybe weighs two, maybe three pounds tops. I've also got this dry flush toilet that kind of wraps up all of the waste and you can toss it out. Um, it runs on a battery. You can take it out, charge it. It is a fully separate autonomous unit. It doesn't rely on anything in here to actually work. You can take this out of the van, do your nature stuff in nature when nature's calling. <laughs> We've got the Nautilus door. Again, nothing new there. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that everywhere. Uh, moving on, we've got more cabinetry up top. Oh, I should probably address the tile. Typically, I would never install real tile in a van. I don't think it's a good idea because this stuff is heavy. You pay for it in gas and maintenance. And it's not designed to be in a moving, vibrating environment. So we agreed with this client to put in <clears throat> a very minimal amount. Uh, they really, you know, just wanted it. And I said, okay, like, just so long as you know, I don't recommend it. This is still kind of a lot, but you guys want it, so we'll do it. Uh, and we're just going to do our best that we can with it. Uh, back to the cabinetry. Um, all of these our storage except for the last one which is our control panel and we've got fresh water tank levels gray water tank levels a switch to turn the fridge on and off independent of the inverter water pump uh, we also have uh, electric dump switches for our fresh and our gray water so you don't have to actually stick your face underneath the van to dump either one of those, which I find very nice and convenient. Uh, up top, this is our switch for the Renogy 3000 watt inverter. Um, not much indication on this. It's a pretty simple, straightforward unit, which is nice, no muss, no fuss. Um, and however these lights are on or blinking or not on or whatever is kind of your indicators as to what's going on. Down here, we've got a monitor unit from Renogy, which connects to a couple things down below shows us our house battery levels and our starter battery levels. Uh, we can see if the alternator is charging the battery. Uh, if it was bright outside and it wasn't one o'clock in the morning, you'd see a little solar panel on here and we could check all of our uh, solar power and usage and all that kind of fun stuff on there. Cool thing about this unit um, is when your house batteries are full, and you have solar power coming in, but you don't need it because your batteries are full, it will actually trickle charge your starter battery, which is nice. So um, it helps you uh, be less likely to uh, get stuck if your battery is dying. Don't let your batteries die, kids. Moving on, <clears throat> we've got a big old closet right here, um, which actually worked out really nicely because Right down there in the bottom corner is the wheel well. So we fit this whole space in with a full hanging uh, coat rack, closet, shirts, dresses, whatever you want to put in there. Um, and then we've got some pull-out drawers with nice soft close hinges. Uh, you've probably noticed by now that we've got this herringbone pattern uh, all throughout the van. Yes, we cut each and every one of these pieces by hand and laid them by hand. That was a lot of work. Moving on, there's a couple things up in the ceiling here. This is a 12 volt AC unit. Um, so it is actually proper closed loop um, condenser compressor air conditioning unit. 
Uh, it does use about 50 amps of power, which is for an air conditioning unit, super efficient. Um, still takes a lot of power though. So we've got a lot of juice, electrical juice down there. I'll get to that in a few minutes. Uh, in the back here, you guys have seen this kind of setup before. Uh, we've got a bench dinette kind of thingy going on here. Um, this table lowers to meet um, the bed here. Uh, I've filmed this a bunch of times with other vans, so what I'm going to do is show you right now a clip of our operations manager, Hannah, uh, demonstrating how these things work. Shout out to Hannah for her many talents. She's great. She helps us with so much around this place. Real quick, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, like the video, drop a comment, share it with a friend, all those things. You know, it really helps us out. We're a small company. I'm really working my ass off to make this thing happen. So any little bit of support you guys can give, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Back to the tour. Uh, moving on, we've got a couple reading lights here in the back. Uh, these are on a dimmer as well by touch. So we've got three settings for dim and then a nice another little cool fancy feature. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll show you a photo if I can't. Uh, USB chargers underneath all of the uh, all of the reading lights. Um, so that's nice and useful. Charge your phones really easy when you're sleeping. We do also have an outlet over here just in case you wanted to like plug in a laptop or something while you're here working or charge your iPod or something like that. Uh, also worth noting, we do have a ton of USBs throughout this van. Uh, we've got electrical outlets here, four USBs there, uh, two more 110 ACs over here behind the uh, driver's seat, as well as four more USBs. So total of 10 USB ports in here. You guys will never be without charged devices. Last thing of note, probably to show inside the camper, is a little shoe locker. Um, the clients uh, requested that we have a step here just to make it a little bit easier uh, to get up to the elevated uh, bench bed studio dinette area. Um, so we just wanted to utilize that space for something you know, useful here inside. Uh, you'll also notice that we've got uh, curtains, blackout curtains, which are insulated custom made uh, to fit all of the windows, including our window right here uh, by the stove. Those are all uh, attached to the window frames and then rolled up here with snaps. So very easy to uh, deploy them, put them back away, and you don't have to worry about taking them all down and finding a place to store them. And then when you take them all out saying, oh, you know, which which window does this cover go to? And that's a hassle. I don't know however many of you have been there. I've been there. It sucks. Never doing it again. We're never letting our clients do it again either. Wrapping up the interior build portion of the van here in the back. A couple things going on. Uh, we've got a big 48 inch pull out drawer here. Um, to put anything like golf clubs, uh, you know, just anything large, sleeping bags, all that kind of stuff. You would normally put in your garage, put that inside there. This guy right here next to it flips down and we've got an outdoor shower. Pretty nice and convenient for like rinsing off after a surf or mountain bike ride or anything like that. Um, underneath the benches, we've got a couple things going on. Uh, the lower units on either side are utility. Uh, and then the upper units are storage, and you'll see more of that in a second. Electrical on this side, water on this side. So what we do is under the bench, we've got these false bottoms here. So all of this entire level is used for storage. And then these will flip up here and reveal all of your electrical. Um, so in here we've got 600, sorry, 560 amp hours of custom built lithium batteries here built in house. Uh, DC and solar charger right here, uh, three kilowatt inverter, and then AC DC power distribution with the short power charger. And then on this side, more storage. Uh, propane bottle goes there. It's out to get filled right now. 
Um, we do actually have seat belts installed on this one so that uh, one of the, uh, the owners can travel in the back on the bed. And then we've got more false bottom storage right here, revealing the water closet, 20 gallons of fresh water with a pump and accumulator, and a hot water heater uh, that vents out right here running on propane. Last but not least, there is also a skylight up here that opens up as an emergency egress point if you need it. There's also a uh, sunshade and a bug screen on here. So you can use it while it's open uh, as well. On the outside of the van, we've got shore power on the passenger side, as well as a Fiamma 45S awning. Then on this side, the driver's side, we've got a ladder as well as our surf pole uh, and hooks so you can throw your longboard or stand up paddle board uh, on the side of the van too. Last but not least, probably one of the larger projects on the van was this very large, very lightweight aluminum deck that we fabricated custom. Uh, perforated mesh, you can walk all over this thing. Uh, our solar panels, the same as we installed on our last build, uh, are again just about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Fully flexible, you can walk on them. Um, they are just awesome in many ways. If you guys have any questions about these, go ahead, leave a question in the comments below. I love these and we'll be using them on everything moving forward until I find something better or I learn something about them that I don't know that I don't like. So far, I love them. You might be able to see we've got a couple spotlights up here as well as down here on the side. Um, and we have a light bar up front. And what's cool is all of the lights on the outside of the vehicle, all those spotlights, including this light bar up here, are controlled with this little remote right here. Uh, what we do is one for, oh my God, that is bright. One for the light bar, one press to go on, one press to go off. Two is the driver spot. Three is the passenger spot. And then four are the back two spots. Kind of fun. I love this little guy. We used this on uh, one of our other builds. And again, I'm going to keep using these until I find something better or learn something about these that makes me not like them anymore. Great little feature. All right, well, that wraps it up for the tour. I hope you guys liked it. It was definitely the biggest, most complex project that we have done to date. And like I said uh, earlier in the video, this may be one of our last custom builds that we do. Uh, we are in development right now on making some production models so we can actually scale this thing up, help more people get into van life and enjoy life on the road, life outdoors. Um, so stick around, make sure you guys stay tuned for information on that. Follow us on Instagram at Vominos Vans. Check us out on our website, www.vominosvans.com. Subscribe, notify, like, comment, share, do all the things. We love you guys. Thanks for continuing to support me and my dreams. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.